Hey guys, I'm Raya and today we're going to do an HWI and I am calling it the Sidewinder Scrunch. We're starting off with a t-shirt that is 100% cotton and soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes and I spun this one out in the washer so it is damp but it's not dripping wet. As you can see I used a washable marker and I made a a uh, random squiggly line from one shoulder down to the bottom corner and we are just pleat folding from one end to the other. So while you guys watch me pleat fold because it's super fascinating, the book is coming along awesome. Uh, I have some pictures that I got to put in there but it's pretty close to done and I'll be able to give you a release date at some point. So that's pretty good. Also, for any of you that were interested in the paintings being added to the website, I did upload a bunch of those. All right, so back to the action. I am going to use rubber bands for this design, and I like to use my green ones, which are the stretchiest and biggest ones that I have. So I use those because in a design like this, where you kind of want the marker line to stay lined up and you're not using sinew, you really want your design to stay intact. So if you use any smaller rubber bands, you'll probably find that your design is gonna fold in on itself. So in this design, I have three rubber bands in the middle and that is for the actual sidewinder part of the shirt. So that's all gonna be one color. And then I'm going to scrunch on both sides of that middle line. And then those are both gonna be two different colors too. Now for HWI designs, it doesn't normally matter whether the project is damp or dry because you're wetting it with hot water anyways and you're soaking that powder dye down through to the other side. So either way, you can dye it after it's dried out for a little while or you can dye it right after you're done tying it. In this case, the shirt is going to be damp when we dye it. All right, so now's the fun part when you can pick your colors. Now, obviously, you do not have to use the same colors that I use, but I didn't want to go too crazy, so I'm going to do purple on one side, blue on the other. So right now I'm going to use lavender, and I'm also going to use red violet on the left, and then I'm going to use robin's egg blue and Grecian sea on the right, and of course... I'm going to use Raven in the middle and normally I wouldn't use Raven for HWI and that's only because the Raven really likes to splatter and make a mess and I'm very heavy handed with my dye, especially the black because I don't normally want the red splitting coming from there. So I put a lot of dye on there when I use black and it does make a mess. So while you guys watch me dye the rest of this shirt, uh, I'm going to let you know, some people don't realize this, but on my website, I do have tons of sold out t-shirts. If there's any sold out t-shirts that you really like and you want one in your size or you want one as a gift for somebody in their size, don't hesitate to ask me. I can make them again. Obviously, no two tie-dyes are ever the exact same, so they won't be the exact same. However, I do get pretty close to what they originally look like. So if there's something that you really want and it's sold out, use the contact page at my website at www.riastiedye.com and email me, and I will get the email directly to my phone, and I will always get back to you. Also, if there is something that you have seen on Amazon that you really, really like or anywhere really and you know that it's cotton, you can always send me a picture of something that you want or I'll look it up for you. If it's a dress or, you know, a romper or anything like that, I will be happy to order it for you and I will dye it. As long as it is a natural fiber and I can use my dyes on it, I can definitely do it for you. So right after you get all the dye on there that you want on there, you're going to throw some soda ash on there. You don't have to put too much. I would just sprinkle a little bit all over the place. Obviously, like I said, I'm pretty heavy handed, but you don't need a whole lot. All right, so you'll see a picture of them in a minute, but for HWI, you'll need a garden sprayer and a spray bottle. 
The water will have to be at least 160 degrees and I use an electric kettle for that. Anything that I use in my videos, I do have in the links in the description box below for you to look at. So now it's spray time. I have about 160 degree water in my spray bottle and I'm spraying the top of this just to get the powder dye a little moist. It'll actually help when you start spraying with the garden sprayer. It won't make your dye fly around as much. So it's a good thing to use first. So you can get a garden sprayer at any hardware store or even a Walmart. Uh, I got mine at Walmart personally. I do have one in my Amazon store that you can look at as well. They're all pretty much the same thing. I have mine on like a V fan sort of spray. If you do like the uh, shower spray, it's a little too much and it will make the dye fly all over the place. So if you have like a fan uh, setting on your garden sprayer, I would use that one or a mist even. And you're gonna wanna spray until the powder dye is pretty much all dissolved and you'll, you can kinda tell that it's all the way down to the bottom side of the shirt. I also do a little extra spraying if the black got onto the purple or the blue just to kind of get some of that out before it really sets into the shirt. Once you're done spraying, you're going to let this sit right in the sink for at least 20 minutes. And then after the 20 minutes is up, you're going to start rinsing it with cold water and gradually up to warm until the water runs clear and you can squeeze it and get all the excess dye out. And then we can do the reveal. After the reveal, you're going to want to make sure that you wash it by itself with hot water. And I use Synthropol, but you can definitely use regular detergent. Uh, the hot water and the Synthropol will help get all of that excess dye out of there. I wasn't really sure what to expect with this shirt. I did use colors that really could be mixed so there wasn't going to be any brown in it. But I do like the way the HWI makes the colors look mixed together. So I was really excited to open it up and see what it looks like. So far the purple is my favorite and I know that black's going to lighten up after the wash. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. That is the line that I made. <laughs> For my first time doing a tie-dye like this, I'm pretty impressed with myself, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, happy tie-dyeing! <laughs>